Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we are going to discuss non-exact differential equation. In previous lecture we have seen exact differential equation. We know that differential equation of this form is said to be exact when this differential equation satisfies this condition del m del y is equals to del n del x right and when for any differential e equation of this form if this condition is not get satisfied that means if we get del m del y is not equals to del n del x then that equation is said to be non-exact differential equation. In this case if we have to find the solution first we have to reduce that differential equation in exact differential equation and then we can find its solution. Now here we are going to discuss how to find the solution of non-exact differential equation. So when we have this non-exact differential equation that means which is not exact this equation becomes exact on multiplying some suitable function and that function is known as integrating factor that means we have to reduce this non-exact differential equation by multiplying integrating factor so that we can find its solution. So there are some rules for finding integrating factor. So now let's have a look on first rule. Yes, when we have differential equation of this form we know that we can find del m del y and del n del x. So here we have to find the value of del m del y minus del n del x upon n and if this value is a function of x alone say that function is f of x then integrating factor is given by this value right similarly if we can find del n del x minus del m del y upon m is a function of y variable say that function is f of y in that case integrating factor is given by this value right integrating factor i f is equal to e raised to integration of this function with respect to y because we got this function is of variable y so here we have two rules now to understand how this rule works here let's have a look on some examples so yes here we have given this differential equation this differential equation is of the form m dx plus n dy is equals to 0. So yes, we can check that this is the value of m and this is n, right? This is m and this is n. So we will write m and n here. Now we have to check whether this equation is exact or not. So we have to find this value del m del y and this del n del x. So we will find this Yes, del m del y means this is a partial depreciation of m with respect to y. So we got this is here too. And del n del x that means partial depreciation of n with respect to x. So we got here. Yes, this is we have to apply product rule with respect to x. And this is y here. So we got. So yes, now we can check that here. We have del m del y is not equals to del n del x right so this differential equation is not exact right so yes we have to reduce this differential equation in exact so that we can find its solution now we can check that we have find del m del y and del n del x so we will find its difference here del m del y minus del n del x so we got here So yes, on simplifying we got here value of this difference minus 2 log of x plus y, right? So yes, so we have del m del y minus del n del x, this is minus 2 log of x plus y. Now let's have a look on this rule. 
वी हैव डेल एम डेल वाई अपॉन डेल एम डेल एक्स अपॉन यन और दिस इज अपॉन डी एम राइट सो वी वॉन्ट दिस इज फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स अलोन और फंक्शन ऑफ वाई अलोन नाउ इफ वी डिवाइड दिस इज बाई यम यस एम इज यर ट्वाइस वाई वी विल गेट कंबाइन फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई सो लेट्स टेक दिस इज अपॉन यन सो वी विल राइट वॉट इज यन यन इज दिस ट्वाइस एक्स लॉग ऑफ एक्स माइनस एक्स वाई नाउ वी कैन चेक दैट वी कैन टेक एक्स आउटसाइड इफ यू टेक दिस इज माइनस आउटसाइड ओके सो वी विल गेट टू लॉग ऑफ एक्स यस नाउ वी कैन चेक दैट वी कैन कैंसल आउट दिस फैक्टर हियर दिस कंप्लीट राइट सो दैट वी विल हैव हियर माइनस वन अपॉन एक्स यस so we got this is as a function of x alone right so this is our integrating factor now what we have to do we have to multiply this given equation by this integrating factor so that given equation will become exact so we will multiply this equation by this 1 upon x by this minus 1 upon x so on multiplying by minus sign again we will have yes now this differential equation have become exact so let's have a look so let's check whether this equation become exact or not so this is the value of n and this is n so we will write m here so what is m and we will write n so yes we want del m del y and del n del x yes now we can check that we have this two values equal right so that we can say that this differential equation have become exact differential equation now now we know that how to find the solution of this one so yes what is the solution yes what we have to do we have to take the integration of m and here integration of terms of n right terms of n this free from x and this is integration with respect to y so we will write down what is m here this is twice y by x plus terms of n free from x so here we have this is minus y and this is integration with respect to y and is equals to c here we have c so yes we will find so yes we will simplify this is this integration with respect to x so here we have 1 upon x integration this is log of x and this so this minus y integration so this is minus y square by 2 yes so we got this is the solution and this is required solution we have find so in this way we have find the solution of this differential equation yes we have reduced this differential equation in exact differential equation we have find integrating factor yes by multiplying given differential equation by this integrating factor we got exact differential equation and we have find the solution of given differential equation so similarly we have one next example here now we have to solve this differential equation yes we can check that this is the value of m and this is n so we will write down this values here now we have to check whether this differential equation is exact or not so for this we will need this values del m del y and del n del x so we will find this values here this is partial differentiation of m with respect to y so here we have and this is partial differentiation of n with respect to x now here we can check that we got del m del y and del n del x these are the functions of y only 
so that means we have to use this second rule right we have to use the second rule for finding integrating factor that means we have to take the difference del n del x minus del m del y upon m so that we will get functions of y alone so here we will write down this value del n del x minus del m del y okay so del n del x minus del m del y on simplification we will get yes so we got here this difference as a function of y now we can check that this is m and this is n that means we have to divide this difference by m here so that we will get the functions of y alone right so del n del x minus del m del y upon n so we have here what is n sorry this is we have to take m here because when we divide this difference by n we will get function of x and y right but we need here function of y so we will divide this is by m so what is m we will put here yes now we can simplify yes this factor get cancelled so we have this is minus 3 by y and this is the function of y variable right so yes so we got this function here so that integrating factor this is e raised to integration of f of y with respect to y here right this is the function of y variable so we will put this value yes this is integration so on simplification we will get yes so in this way we got integrating factor this is 1 upon y cube now what we have to do next here we have to multiply this differential given differential equation yes we have to multiply this given differential equation by this integrating factor so that given differential equation will reduce in exact differential equation so that we will do the multiplication here now we will do the simplification of this one so we will get here yes now this is the exact differential equation we got here if you want we can check here if so for this what we need we have to find del m del y and del n del x right so this is m and this is n here so yes So what is here differentiation this is the partial differentiation of m with respect to y so we will have y differentiation this is 1 and this is yes now we want partial differentiation of n with respect to x so here x derivative this is 1 y derivative 0 and this is 4 x derivative 1 and this is y cube constant so we got here yes so we got here yes we can check that we have del m del y is equals to del n del x right and we got this is yes so we can say that here given differential equation is exact differential equation right now yes we can find its solution so what is the solution its solution is given by what we have to do we have to take the integration of m with respect to x so here we will write down m right and now we have to take the integration of terms of n free from x now here this is our n right so we want terms which are free from x now we have x here x in this term also so we have this is 
twice y and this is integration with respect to y. This is equal to c. So yes, we will simplify this is y integration with respect to x. So this is this is the complete term of y. So this is constant. So integration of dx, this is x plus y integration y square by 2. This is equal to c. Yes, on simplification, yes, this is the required solution for given differential equation. So yes, in this way we have discussed two rules for finding integrating factor. Yes, we have find the solution of two given differential equation by using these two rules. Yes, by these two rules first we have to find integrating factor. That integrating factor we have to multiply to the given differential equations so that given differential equation is reduced in exact differential equation and we can find its solution. Yes, so here first when we have given differential equation of this form m dx plus n dy is equals to 0, we have to find the difference del m del y and del n del x and we have to decide which rule we have to apply here. When we divide this difference by n, we will get function of x alone and when we divide this difference by m, we will get function of y alone. So in this way we can find integrating factor. Only we have to remember that here we have difference del m del y minus del n del x and here we have del n del x minus del m del y and respectively we have to find the integrating factor. So yes, that's it for now. See you in the next video. Thank you and keep watching.